God bless everybody. It is now Wednesday. And so uh, I just got a word of encouragement. I won't be up on here too long. But uh, I did have, I did woke up. This was about last week. Uh, I can't remember the exact day I woke up last week. And uh, God was putting it on my spirit. He said, you know, he, one thing he just said to my spirit, he said, boom, there it is. So he kept putting it in my spirit, but I, I just didn't get the chance to go and try to make the video or whatever like that. You know, I basically didn't kind of pay that much attention to, you know, to it or whatever like that. So one thing for sure, I just noticed one thing, uh, you know, these last few couple of days, it still was up on my mind. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to get up on here and do a word. But uh, God said, God said, boom, there it is. That's the, that's the title of this word. Boom, there it is. God is about to blow everybody's minds. And I feel it in my spirit. He wouldn't just put it up on me for no particular reason. There's a lot of things that God is really about to do. Uh, God is God is just about to do so such amazing things. It's going to blow a lot of people's minds. And it's going to be like a boom. Just like how you're hearing about Ukraine and Russia and all this other stuff that's going on. Bombs, nuclear, all this stuff. It's a boom all up on this on this earth in the physical, but it's also going to be a boom in a spiritual realm. So we got to know when we see a lot of chaotic stuff and a lot of destruction or whatever like that, just know God is doing something else in the spirit. And so he's going to give us strength in these times that we are going through. So I want everybody to be, uh, like I said, I want everybody to be blessed by hearing this word that God said, this is boom season. This is boom season. I don't know who this word is for, but this is a boom season. God is about to just boom, just blow everything up. And, and one thing I notice is about uh, when it comes to bombs and stuff like that, you don't know when it's going to happen. Next thing you know, you look up a few minutes later, boom, everything, everything is just blown up. So one thing, it comes unaware. When things blow up, it comes unaware. God is about to do some. God is about to blow your minds up and it's going to be un unaware. It's going to be out of nowhere. You're not going to be able to describe it. You're going to be scratching your head like, Lord, how? Like, I was just here one minute, but now I'm over here. Uh, I was watching this person on YouTube, but now I'm, I'm, I'm doing business with them. So God is about to really do some. I'm telling you, God is about to do some great things. I don't know who this word is for, but God said, boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. Your finances is is, 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 is is falling like it's supposed to. Boom, you got the job that you said you wanted. Boom, you got wisdom and knowledge and everything. God has given you all this wisdom and knowledge of his word. Boom, you're going to have a spouse. God don't bless you with a spouse. It's all going to happen. It's going to be a boom. It's going to be uh, just a massive uh, bomb that's just going to, a spiritual bomb that's just going to hit your life. And it's going to change your life forever. It's going to really change your life. You're going to look up and be like, wow, I was this yesterday. But today, everything has been changed. Everything has been turned around. I'm talking about promotions, opportunities. Uh, uh, the uh, God's about to get ready to get people wealth. God gives us power to get wealth. God is about to do some amazing things. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't have the words. I just... I just don't have the words of what God is about to do, but I know he is about to do some great things. I don't know if somebody's been feeling the same way like this in their spirit, but I am telling you, God is about to do something. Mark my words today. Mark my words today. You can find you a notepad or whatever like that and mark everything that I basically just said about what God is about to do. And I'm telling you, it's going to come to pass. Every promises, every every vision he showed you, every dream he done showed you, places he said he's gonna take you. Don't matter what everybody say, what they believe in, what they don't believe in, it doesn't matter. But what did God say? That's the main part. We can't care about what what folks other folks are saying. But what did God say to you? I'm telling you, it's the blessing is just gonna be so big. It's just going to cause a lot of folks to really just hate upon you. The ones that say they really love you, those are the ones that's going to really try to backstab you. Because they never thought, they 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 looked over the one that God has chosen and that, and that has called them. 
according to his purpose. So I'm telling you, I, I hope everybody is really listening to what I'm saying. I try to uh, do this word the best way I possibly can. Uh, but like I said, God is about to blow everybody's minds. I don't know when. I don't have specific dates. I don't know. I just don't know. You know, because God, because, you know, we, we, we don't have his understanding. That's why I said lean not to our own understanding. We got to lean upon him because his understanding is totally different than our understanding. God could be saying right now, but it could be two months later. So I don't know because I done heard different people. They say, well, it's about to happen this week. It's about to happen this day. God ain't gave me none of that. All he's just saying is, boom, it's, it's, it's just like that. That's what he told me in my spirit. Boom, just like that. Everything's about to change, y'all. I don't know who this word is for. Y'all don't know who this word is for. You're going to wake up and get a call. Your life done changed. You you go you're gonna wake up with a job calling you that that you didn't think that you would thought they would even call you or still have your application, just like that. You don't know somebody may come back back of the house or whatever like that, and say, hey, you want this car? You can have it, just like that. This is a time of favor. God is really gonna bless His people. This is just a time of a uh, 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 favor. And the reason why I put the car part in it because. Uh, God gave me that dream. He gave me a dream uh, last year. Uh, I, I, I can't remember. I was in my dream, and uh, I was—I think I was in my house. And then I, I walked back. I walked in my backyard, and when I walked in the backyard, this truck pulled up. Cause I've been saying I always wanted a truck, but now I really want me a Toyota. But no matter what, I, I'll take whatever God gives me. You know, that's my desire to have a truck and a car. But anyways, so it was a truck, and it was like something that I definitely wanted. And, and it pulled up and it was uh, and this was out of nowhere i'm sitting there like what's going on where's this truck coming from i couldn't see the part i couldn't tell who it who, who it was i was trying to look at the face and everything i couldn't tell who it was it was like it was all blurred out but i remember the, in the individual got out of the truck and said hey if you want this car it's yours like just literally just like that i'm i'm not telling y'all from stuff from back of my mind or back of my head i ain't got to lie about nothing that's exactly what the Lord showed me in my dream. That's a dream he gave me. And I sat there and shot. And then I remember the dream went away. I'm sitting there literally in shot like, what? And I kind of almost doubted for a little bit. I'm like, Lord, I just don't see, I just don't see that. But we cannot put God in a box. We cannot put God in a box. When God is showing you something and when God is telling you something, it may look weird. And that's why it's so important not to tell your business or tell your your dream or what God is giving you to everybody. Because a lot of people, they're going to look at your situation and be like, "Nah, it's impossible. Ain't nobody finna just give you no car. You got you got to go out and work for it. Yeah, you got to work for stuff. But see, we are in a spiritual walk, too. So God is just going to just really just start just handing out stuff to people, people that's going to do what he's calling them to do and that's obeying his law not just anybody just just anybody because god is not going to do that because he know you're not going to take care of it but i'm telling you that's what god showed me last year i came but i i think it was the beginning of last year he showed me that in my dream i walked in the back side i was unaware i'm, I'm sitting in shot like what's going on and this person hey you want this truck it's yours and i'm just like Wow, I'm, I was literally standing there literally in shock. I think he gave me a second dream about me having a truck and it was everything that I needed. So I can't remember the full dream, but I remember he gave me a second dream. So all everything that people have seen, even whatever y'all been seeing in y'all dreams or what God's been giving you, is going to come to pass. It's going to come pass. The enemy like to paint this picture. That's why the Bible said walk by faith and not by sight. If you walk by, if you walk by faith, you're going to know it's already there. You're going to know. But if you walk and what everything you look, you look at your bank account, you ain't got no but what, $11 sitting in the account. Lord, you done show me this. How can I get this? How can I? Don't worry about it. Just keep walking with God. God always give us dreams and visions and stuff because he wants us to keep, he wants to keep that in mind because and eventually in, 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 the, uh, in the natural it's going to happen. God is a son of man that shall not lie, neither the son of man to even repent. He ain't got to repent for anything. If he say he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And you got to stand flat-footed on that. So I hope this word was able to bless everybody. To uh, cause that's, 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 no, that's my little bit of a, of, a, of a word of encouragement 
that that's what God showed me. And if he's shown you the, uh, something similar to that or whatever like that, just believe and have faith. He's going to work it out and, and it's going to come all together. But y'all, get ready. Get ready. People that done talked about you, people that done laughed at you, people said that you wasn't going to be this, be that. I'm telling you, they're going to have to eat them words. They're going to have to. God said he will shut the mouths of the nation. He said he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. That's his word. And remember I told you, there's a way God had to create uh, create uh, enemies. There's a way. I told you all that from my word, uh, I think a couple weeks ago. I told you how he do it. He makes your situation. He puts you, in, puts you in a situation that looks weird to the natural eyes. That's the way he gets enemies to come against you. He can't do it no other way else, but that's the only way he do it. Bob said he used the foolish things of the world. That's the Bible. So anytime it just look for anytime God is telling you, uh, 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 you going you gonna get this car, but I don't want you to work. Well, Lord, how, how am I going to ever get the car? We just got to believe God. We just got to believe God. If he say he going to do it, he going to do it. And it's going to, and it's like I said, that's how God works. That's just how he works. He, he, that's the way he works. The way he uses us, it looks foolish to the natural eyes. That's why they can't receive it. That's why they always keep coming against everything you're doing. Because they're not understanding how in the world is he doing that when he should be doing this. God is changing up everything. Things ain't going to be in the normal. Things is not going to be normal. Everything is changing up. So I hope everybody be blessed by this word and be encouraged by this word that keep reflecting on what God showed you because I'm telling you it's coming to pass you may not see it, you may not really be hearing from God like that that's because he's working and he just wants you to keep doing what he's calling you to do and stick by it and stay by it without wavering or anything he just wants you to stay doing what you're doing because as I'm doing like as I'm talking to y'all and kind of ministering to y'all too he's working my he's working on behind my behalf I may not see it. I may not understand it, even when I can't trace him. But I still believe that he is still working in my behalf. He's still working for it. And I work on it for me, but he's working for y'all. He's work. He, he, I'm telling you right now, God is working for y'all. That's why you're not seeing much stuff being moved and stuff not really uh, seem like things is just sitting idle. But the enemy wants you to make you think. That God has left you. Oh, you ain't going to go no further. I told you God wasn't going to come through for you. That's what he wants to make you think. But you got to look back at what God showed you. Lord, no, I don't. I don't. Lord, you done show me the vision that I'm going to have this job. You done show me I'm going to have this car. You done show me you're going to uh, uh, give me that 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 uh, that fiery that fiery heart after you got to, to do what you called me to do. You gave it to me, God, to help the homeless. You gave it to me. Lord, you gave it to me. You've shown me. You have to believe it. Keep believing because I'm telling you, it's going to come to pass. But the way it's going to come to pass is just going to be a bomb. Boom. And there it is. God is saying today, boom. <laughs> there it is. That's all. That's the only thing he said to me. He just said, boom, there it is. That was, that was about it. Somebody put that in the comments. Boom. There it is, because God is about to blow up your life in the name of Jesus. So I hope this word blesses somebody. I am Tyrese Brown. Uh, like this, like I said, like, like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to, do, whatever you want to do. Definitely share this word with somebody else that would be a blessing to them. And um, until next time, be blessed. Be blessed for the rest of this week. Love everybody. And I thank everybody who's been a uh, patronizer, who's been uh, donating to uh, to me uh, to the. To, uh, I just want to thank everybody who's been donating to the ministry and stuff like that. So I just want to thank everybody for being a blessing and, and just being so encouraging because your words, it, it definitely touched me because I don't get that much encouragement around here. So I just truly thank everybody for the encouraging words. I really do. And, and being a blessing towards me because we not all supposed to be a blessing to hold everything wherever God give us, but we have to pass it to someone else that is in need or that needs a blessing. So that's what it's all about.
So I thank everybody for for definitely being uh, being a cheerful giver. God, the Bible said God lo loves a cheerful giver. That's his word. He loves a person that gives from the bottom of the heart and they're cheerful about it. That's why God's going to bless you and double. Mark my words. God is going to bless you and double. Everybody that has sold to me, that that, 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 that bless me, he is going to blow your mind. For, 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 for one, obeying him because the, uh, obeying is better than the sacrifice. You obeyed him and you showed him that you can trust you, that he can trust you. So I love everybody. Thank you all for watching this video and have a wonderful week. And God bless you and love you.